Hey guys, we're celebrating everything Malaysian once again this September and one of the best ways to do it is of course with drinks. So I'm here with Ribbon, principal bartender at Pacific Standard Bar, who will be doing a little challenge with me. But maybe you can tell us what cocktails you'll be showing us or what well, we need to do today. Thank you Rachel. Today I'm going to teach you the three Malaysian inspired cocktails for mm -hmm. celebrate Malaysia 61 years. So this challenge is something I'm going to call side by side bartending. So I don't know anything about bartending, but you do, Yes. of course. So you're going to teach me how to make these three Malaysian inspired cocktails. Okay. But I won't be able to see how you're doing it. I can only listen to how you instruct me to do it. Sounds interesting. Yes. So hence that's why this cloth that's hanging that's going to be dividing us. So let's just oh. jump right into it and see how we'll, we'll do it. We'll make it better by the end of the day. Yes. Okay, let's just go. Ruben, what's the first cocktail that we'll be making? Well, Rachel, for the first cocktail we're going to make is called the Spirit of Turbo. Do you like sugar cane? Yes. Nice. So are you ready to go? Yes. Okay. So for the lime juice, we go with 20 ml. Lime, lime juice, 20 ml. Mm -hmm. And then we use the London Dry Gin. London, the London. fourth London Dry Gin. The first one without a chili. Chili, okay. Found it. Uh, not chili. No, not chili? Not oh, chili. okay. The regular one. Okay. You take the, you take the smaller tin, cover it on the bigger tin inside. Okay. Okay. Cover it as tight as possible and give it a good dry shake. To bring the component and all this ingredient bonding together. What direction should I be shaking it in? A any direction that you prefer and you're comfortable as long as you're shaking it. I can't hear you shaking it. You do? Yeah. Using a fine strainer on the other hand. You doing it? No. I don't think I'm doing it. That's it for the cocktail? That's not for the cocktail. Okay. <laughs> what have you done to my recipe and my cocktail? <laughs> How's mine? This good. That was quite a long pause. <laughs> and we're going to start with the grapefruit bitters. Put like a two or three dashes into the mixing glass. How much is a dash? I'm um, just a drop too. Peel one good length of uh, the grapefruit skin, the peel. Are you good with peelers? Don't hurt yourself. Uh, <laughs> I think I started out wrong. You have a bar spoon on your left. Use the spoon to stir the cocktail. Okay. You should stir the cocktail as silent as possible. Like the least noise, the better the drinks get. Oh, okay, gotcha. Strain into the glass. Once you're done, use the grapefruit, the skin, the peel. Have a good squeeze on top and garnish it. I can't wait for you to see this because I can't squeeze anything from the grapefruit. I'm a little peel. scared to see a cocktail right now. I don't know how I feel. That looks artistic. Okay, I'm gonna put it here. Wow, first. that is <laughs> inspiring me to create a new garnish right now. Oh! Shall we try it? Yes, strength. You know what? Yeah. This cocktail you made it delicious. Thank you. Oh really? For yes. real? Now we're going to make an interesting cocktail called interesting. Uh, the New Era. And then I stand by a plate of a salt and a slice of orange for you. Yep. It's only to do the garnish and presentation of the glass. Mm -hmm. So the tip of the glass just go around the, the slice of orange on top. Orange round the rim. Yes, the, the raw glass orange round the rim. And then you put the glass upside down and touch the salt. So the salt will be stick with the glass on the rim of the glass. Open your cocktail shaker. You give like a two full portion. And start shaking. Keep shaking, keep shaking. Okay, I'm not sure if this is enough again. Okay, I'm good, I'm good. We can continue. So you need to fill the glass with the ice without touch the salt rim. Let's do it. All right. I think I did better. It looks kind of more like. Now you're in. You can work on Friday night. Oh, great! <laughs> okay, appearance wise, not bad. Cheers! Final round. This one is a bit strong, but it's nice. Uh, how are you doing? I, you I know think what? I put too much salt. It's really, really good. Oh, really? Yes. Better than the second drink that I made? It's better than the first two drinks. First that two you drinks. Yes. <laughs> well, let's reveal. 
Sorry, uh, what have you done in my bar? I'm, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, Rachel? Yes. What happened to the strainer? Is that how you're using the strainer all those This one? All the three rings? Yes. Yeah? Is it, is it, no. no, it should be no. the other way around. Like that? So it's make your job much easier and convenient of pouring the drinks out. No wonder. And now it looks like I have more job to do to clean your station. I'll help, it's fine. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but I think for now we can end this session. Thank you so much Thank for you. doing this with me. Hope you have fun. And for everybody else, you Thank don't you. have to... I won't be working here Friday night, so you can look for Ruben directly and try these Malaysian-inspired cocktails on your own. You should cheers, though. Cheers. cheers. <laughs>